Christmas special for the Tucker Report, where we throw the rule book out the window and do things differently. My guest host this week is none other than the infamous Stitch. Hello. We have got uh, some stuff to cover. First of all, I want to mention Tucker can't be here this time. He is filling in for one of Santa's reindeer, one of the rarer known ones, Olive. Caption contest. We took a staff Christmas photo and we want you to come up with captions for it. So we're going to go ahead and put that on the interwebs and we look forward to your captions so that you can win a Tucker Trucker hack. Tucker Report Live. That's right. We are doing our first ever live episode of the Tucker Report at the Red Lion Hotel. December 28th, that's Friday at 10.15 p.m. So set your reminder on your machine thing and enjoy the fun. Mm -hmm. We've got a topic here, how to handle awkward family moments. I personally have never gone through any awkward situations at home, but I know a lot of you out there aren't as cool as me and do have those situations. So the first awkward moment you might have is with your aunt. She might come up to you, she might ask questions like, why aren't you married yet? Why don't you have kids? Why didn't you go to college? Where's your job? Why are you still living with your parents? And you've just got to calm down. This is a very, very stressful situation. You can feel very overwhelmed at this moment. You've got to just tell her, I have to go to the bathroom, and which you will need to do because you're lactose intolerant and you drink too much eggnog. Has that ever happened to you before? No. Right, give us another tip. Um, okay. Something else that could happen to anybody. It might get stuck at the kids' table. Oh, right, because you have the kids' table and the adults' table. Mm -hmm. I don't know that yeah, there's okay. a good separation from the high class to the low class, as we like to call it. Right, and the size of the chairs. Absolutely. The little kid chairs, I'm going to tell you, they're not good for your back. Lumbar support is not even present. When you're at the kids' table, though, if you want to get out of that situation, take your nice Hawaiian roll, throw it all the way over to the adult table, and you'll be like, whoops, guess I dropped my... Roll, you walk on over, pick it up. It'll be awkward, but you'll at least be with the family. All right, pro tips for any 23 year old male. Getting gifts for the family can be a struggle. So what you do in those situations when you have no gifts ready to go, you go, go to the closet, look around, look for anything you can find, even a vacuum. And then just wrap it up. It could be with wrapping paper, but more than likely you didn't pay for that. We all know you. You have no money. You're 23 years old, living in your parents' basement. Have you ever tried pets? I, I have tried. tried a cat one time. So yeah. I tried my dog. It didn't go so well. Huh. Uh, I've done SWAT for three years now. Wow. Is it true that your camp name was almost Muffin? Muffin, yes. That is correct. I got 30 votes for Muffin and 31 for Jeepster. In sixth grade, I had, me and my friend had put a muffin in the cafeteria school microwave and it was in there for about, you know, 30 minutes and started shooting some blue flames out of it and <laughs> kind of smoked out the whole cafeteria. So How many people are we talking here? Two, three hundred people in there. <laughs> Give us an awkward Christmas memory. I don't know if this is awkward, but one Christmas there was a fire going at my grandparents' house and it had like the glass shield in front of it. Uh -huh. And I just stuck my hand right on the glass. <gasps> it burned. It, it didn't feel too Melted good. Did they have to take a pancake scraper to get actually, it off? Actually a machete. They just kind of took a machete and just... Alright, Jeepster, this is going to be like the Mini Inch, except for your Santa, collecting toys All right. for the kids. Same course as the Mini Inch, but each pool noodle marks a toy that you're supposed to take for the kiddies, and it's for time. Three, two, one, go! Gotta get the toy! Santa's on schedule. Good enough for those other kids. Talk about your experience. I did, you know, it was a great time. I had a job to do and I really feel like I executed that job well and got all the toys. And Tell me about the cold. 
the coal is, you know, it's for those who don't apply for summer staff this next year, you know, naughty, yep. Yep. Um, not not very good, you know, the people who are a little bit off this year. Yeah, no, the VCR, that, that proved to be a challenge, just wouldn't quite get in the bag there. We're just going to go with it, you know, okay. maybe some kid, Johnny in Nebraska wanted that. And, you know. So we've got a sort of a disputed time anyway here. Can't oh, use, use your hands for this hands next hands month. Hands. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just wipe that off the board here and put uh, a Jeepster. One minute. Thirty. Oh, that looks like a two. Thirty. One thirty-two. Yeah, it's a pretty good time. So we'll just go ahead and uh, slap that there. There we go. And uh... <laughs> oh, whoo! Oh, that's scary. Yeah. That's terrifying. You, uh, you came from the other side there. I don't know where I was. We don't need it. So, registration opens any day now for campers. So shortly after Christmas Day, that will open. That makes a good Christmas gift, parents, if you're watching this. Registration for camp. You could, like, make them a little gift certificate, tie it up in a bow. Fantastic. I'm signing my kids up. I'm signing my kids up. All four of them. All of them. Oh dear, who's that dear? It's Tucker. Rubber baby bumpers. Flex fit. Unique. Flex New York. Tape. Flex seal. Flex I'm seal ready. tape. We're Got ready. It.